hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to be showing you how to install kali linux with the xfce gui interface on your android device though i have previously made videos on this but some of those methods are outdated now which means some of those methods might no longer work so um this is just a video to show you the new method of installing it okay so um if you're finding this channel for the first time we upload videos on linux tutorials ethical hacking and programming if you're interested in these topics make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video and um, without wasting much of your time let us get to the video so welcome back guys um the very first thing we're going to do of course is to update tamox repositories to update your tamox repo use the command pkg update okay now after updating tamox repository we're going to install period distro and you're going to do that with the pkg install period to distro command okay now that period distro has been installed we're going to edit a custom installation script for kali linux okay to do that use the command displaying on your screen right now and i'm going to leave the command in the description below so that you can you know easily copy it from there okay after entering that command the window is going to pop up and you're going to paste this installation script in that window i'm also going to be pasting the installation script in the description below and now you can proceed to the installation of kali linux install kali linux with the command period distro install kali okay and um it is going to download and extract the kali tab all right and after kali has been installed you can now log into the cli using the command period distro login kali all right now that you're logged into the kali terminal the first thing you're going to do is you're going to update your repositories of course you do that with the apt update command okay now after updating your repositories the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install the necessary packages for gui in this case we're going to be using xfce4 so i'm going to be pasting all of these commands in the description below so that you don't have to bother yourself about them okay so that command is going to install the xfce4 gui interface and um, the browser necessary packages okay so the installation is going to start and um, it is going to take a while once the installation has been completed the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit a custom command for our vnc server okay to do that use the command nano forward slash user forward slash local forward slash bin and i'm um, going to name that command server okay so in this command you're going to paste a script i'm going to also paste that script in the description below after pasting that script you're going to save the command and um, we're going to give it executable permission by using the ch mode plus x command and then you're going to click on enter and that is it so um we're going to start our vnc server now by using the command server okay which is the which is the custom command we just created okay if you're entering the command for the first time you're going to be prompted to create a password make sure you use the password you can easily remember and um, that command is going to launch vnc server now that vnc server has been launched you're going to you know use your net x or your vnc viewer application make sure your connection type is the basic vnc and in the vnc password section enter the password you created earlier and i'm um, in the vsc connection setting it is going to be localhost one and after that you're going to click on connect okay and as you can see we are now logged into the gui interface of kali linux so um, i'm going to you know stop the voice recording now and i'm going to customize the gui interface okay so if you want to customize your gui interface just follow the things i'm going to be doing right now okay and if you're not interested in the customization i'm going to put a timestamp in the video so you can you know just easily skip to the next part which is the you know changing your wallpaper aspect and the killing of the vnc server
now that all of that has been done to get the red wallpaper just you know right click on your desktop and um click on desktop settings okay after clicking on desktop settings the background page is going to open and in the background page you can find that wallpaper there okay so just simply change your wallpaper to that wallpaper and that is it you now have the linux red wallpaper on your screen so this is it um to choose a terminal of your choice click on the terminal icon and um you're going if you're clicking on it for the first time you're going to be prompted to you know choose a terminal of your choice in my case i want to use the genome terminal so i selected the genome terminal and um that is it this is how you install kali linux on your android phone so um that is going to be it for this video and um let me open the browser so that you can be sure that the browser is working perfectly fine so this is the browser and um sound is not working on this kali linux but i'm going to be leaving a video in the description below a video i have created earlier on how to fix sound not working on kali linux so if you want to fix your sound make sure you check out that video and um to the most important aspect of this which i always say in every video i make is always make sure you kill your vnc server once you're done working with your operating system okay so um to kill your vnc server you're going to navigate back to tamox and now that you're back to Tamox, you're just going to simply use the command vnc server dash q then ratio one which is you know the localhost one so that is going to kill the vnc server and that is all for this video thanks for watching if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and um, i'll see you in the next video goodbye for now